Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Bear Tick from Pokemon. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the brow line. Starting from the left, drawing an angled line going up towards the right. And then from here I'm just going to turn up the end on the right side with a straight line. Underneath here in the center of this line I'm going to draw an, uh, sort of like a half oval for the eye. So curving down and then back up. And then on the top here I'm just going to draw a tiny little circle just underneath on the very top. From here, let's go to the bridge of the face. So this is the actual snout. Starting from the top, I'm going to go up here and then just curve down towards where the nose area would be. Just curving down like this. From here on the end, I'm going to draw an oval that's horizontal for the nose. So curving around, like that. And then let's go and draw the upper part of the mouth. So starting on the end of the nose, I'm going to curve up towards the eye, right about there. And then we curve in the opposite direction, curving down towards the bottom of the mouth. From here, let's just draw that little line underneath this nose. So on the right side of this nose, the bottom will just curve to the top of the mouth. From here, let's draw the bottom of the mouth curving across, from left to right, to the end of that line. And we're going to draw two fangs. So on the end here, I'm going to draw an upside down V. And over here on the right, we'll draw an upside down V. From this end of this fang, I'm going to curve up to the top of the mouth for the opposite side of the mouth. And then from that same starting point, I'm going to curve in for the tongue. Let's go back up to the top of the head. So at the top, it's a very small sort of head. So up here, I'm just going to curve across. On the left side here, I'm just going to tuck an ear just behind the forehead. So here we're just going to draw a curve. And then we're going to come back down on the right side. So we want to make this body almost like triangular shaped. So the shoulders are right about here. So what I'll do is I'll start up here. I'm going to aim with a curve towards my finger. But along the way, right about here, at the same height as the ear on the left, I'm going to put in an ear, and then we're going to curve down and continue that line coming down towards the shoulder. From here, we're going to draw in the little ice beard. So right on the left of this side of the mouth, we're going to draw a straight line coming down, and we're going to curve and round out one side, and we're going to curve in the opposite direction, just underneath the mouth. And then there's a little icicle that sticks down this way, so we're going to do an overlap Coming straight down, we're going to pop a little curve out, and we'll curve it back down to the bottom area here. We're going to curve back up towards the mouth, so going up like this. Now we want to leave room for the one icicle sticking out this way, so we're going to do an overlap, curve down. Now we want it roughly the same height as the one on the left. From here we're going to curve up this way, around the side of the mouth, and then just tuck it in to the corner of the mouth like that. From here let's go ahead and draw in the front part of the body. So this icicle sort of curves down towards the front of the body, towards the bottom of the feet, but along the way, so I'm going to imagine a curve coming down like this, so roughly about here, but along the way I'm going to just draw a little, I'm going to leave a little opening here. So right here I'm going to curve down to the bottom of the feet, right there. If I want to, I can actually go back and just lengthen that out if I need to. Let's go into this arm. So this is where the top of the arm is going to be. So the top, I'm going to have the arm coming out towards the elbow, up towards the claws like this. So up here, I'm just going to draw an angled line coming down. We're going to go down to the bottom of the arm. Now it's going to be easier for us to draw from the bottom arm working our way around the fingers than it is from the top because there's a lot of overlapping fingers. So right here, along this line, I'm just going to come down and curve down towards the elbow. And now from here, I want to curve up towards the claws. So from here, I'm just going to curve up to right about there. And then I'm going to curve this around for the first finger, kind of like this. Now I want to draw some sockets for the claws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that point, I'm going to intersect a line. On the left side, I'm just going to draw a curve, almost like a half circle, and then connect that point to the tip for one claw. Now I just want to imagine this curve going around behind that claw and just continuing behind like that. Let's go ahead and draw the second finger. So up here, I'm going to curve around, stop right there. We're going to intersect another line, draw the socket, and then connect it with a straight line. Let's go ahead and finish off this line behind the claw like that. We'll do this one more time. So here we're going to curve around. Now this one I'm just going to draw the angle coming down a little bit flatter. We'll draw the socket and then we'll connect it with a straight line. And I'm going to draw one more curve in for that finger there. Now up here I want to draw the sort of the pad of the hand. So right here I'm going to draw a curve like this. Up here I'm going to do an overlap and just draw a straight line right into that elbow line there. And here we're going to draw a little oval for the hand pad. So starting at the top, curve around, 
and back up to the top again. Okay, so we got a very simple arm there. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side, but this side, the arm actually overlaps the body instead of going behind the body here. So we'll start with that line on top first. So starting up here, draw a straight line. Now we're gonna go back to the bottom of the arm. So right about here, I'm gonna curve down towards the elbow because again, it's easier to draw the overlaps coming down behind and underneath the arm than it is on top. So let's start at the elbow, curving up towards the fingers. Now we're gonna round this out for the first finger, draw an intersecting line, draw the socket, and then a straight line to finish off the claw. Here we're just gonna finish off the bottom of that finger. We'll go up here and do an overlap. So curving around, draw a straight line, socket, and we'll draw a straight line to finish that off. And then this curve, we'll just tuck that in right there. Last finger, rounding out this way. We draw a straight line, curve for the socket, and connect it. And then this finger, we'll just tuck in behind that finger there. Let's draw that little palm. So right here, we'll draw a curve like that. From that elbow, I'm just gonna straight in to that palm. And we're gonna tuck in a little hand pad here. So this is actually gonna probably go in behind this claw here. So starting at the top of the oval, curving around, back up behind that claw, like that. And then we're gonna go and finish off the right side of the body. So here, I wanna take this line and continue it behind this arm. So here, right about here, I'm gonna come down and curve to the bottom of the feet. And I want it to be roughly the same height as I have on the left. From here, we're gonna draw in the bottoms of the feet. So this is like almost like a furry edge along the bottom. So from the left, I'm gonna draw a series of three spikes going out. Now on the bottom, on the inside of the leg, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. So going one, two, and this is gonna work its way up into the back of the knee. So curving up to the back of the knee. This leg is actually straight. So we're gonna draw those three spikes going out towards the right. So you see they're pointing towards the right. And then as, after the three, I'm gonna point maybe two or three more out towards the inside of the leg. I'm gonna come in. Now here, along the bottom of the torso, there's a furry sort of patch under the bottom. So I'm here, I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna draw some spikes going across the bottom here. So starting on the inside, I'm gonna do an overlap, and just draw a series of spikes going across like that. From this point, I'm just gonna curve this leg in underneath that patch. We're gonna draw a little bit along the inside here. So we're gonna draw this in a curve. So a few spikes going out in a curve and it's starting to turn this way. On the inside of this knee, I'm just gonna draw a little line like that. Along this side, I'm gonna draw two sort of coming in towards each other just to indicate the knees. In here, I'm just gonna draw a little curve like that just to show the hip joint. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Bear Tick from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.